Aloha! Welcome back to the Bishop Museum's Library and Archives. I'm Hadley Anderson and... I'm DeSoto Brown. And we're going to be talking about something really interesting that I think a lot of people aren't really privy to unless they're inside the museum. That's right. right. That's right. It's Throwback Thursday time. And we're going to talk about Bishop Museum then and now. But we're not just going to talk about it. We're going to look at pictures of it. Now, Great. we work at Bishop Museum, so some of this stuff is very familiar to us. But other things... Well, you're going to see some stuff you haven't seen before, and oh, good. things I never saw either, because that happened a long time ago. Bishop Museum is over 125 years old, so we have a long, long history of all kinds of quirky things that have happened here. And I'm sure you have a catalog as well. Well, <laughs> I like to keep them in mind. So here's a picture. That's of our Pacific Hall, but it looks Correct. quite different. Okay, well this is what we today call Pacific Hall. But when it was opened in 1894, and for a, lot, a long time it was called Polynesian Hall, and as you can see, it has a very Victorian style interior because it's filled with lots of different types of stuff because they really like to exhibit lots of things in those days, but hanging from the ceiling is a giant octopus. I love it, that's amazing. And the giant octopus was there until the 1950s when this particular space was remodeled and it got moved into Hawaiian Hall, which is our main exhibit area still today, and it was hanging around, literally, until the 1960s and then when Hawaiian Hall got renovated because it was in very poor condition it was discarded but I can remember the giant octopus hanging in Hawaiian Hall when I was a kid oh wow and it didn't look too good and it was, oh, it was kind of over the darn. hill well here's something you've never seen before and I don't ever remember seeing either but it probably was around I know where that is located okay well here we are in Hawaiian Hall again at the base of the stairs on the first floor, but all those kids are looking at a giant walrus. Now, why would we, we have had a walrus? Why would we have had a giant walrus? I don't have a clue, um, <laughs> but we did. We had a giant walrus, and there is the model giant walrus underneath the stairway, and uh, it too was uh, went away in the 1960s, and I presume it wasn't in good shape anymore, and that was one of the reasons they would have discarded it. But uh, now, now we're gonna go to some then and now photographs so we can see exactly what things look like. So let's move our okay. sign out of the way. And here's our first picture. And now you're gonna hold up the picture next to it so that everybody can see, put it down on the table like that. And so we can show you, this is uh, another one of the stairways in Hawaiian Hall. And the picture that I'm holding is from 1965. And this is a current day picture. And there's another big weird thing. Is that a moonfish? It's a, it's a giant fish. Oh, wow. It's actually a plaster cast of a fish, and Hawaiian Hall on the second floor used to have scores of these replica plaster fish that were displayed in the cases as well as, as you can see here, up on the wall. And again, they also, as they got in bad condition, were either discarded or they sold some of them too. So they're all gone now. But this is the way it looks today, just a regular stairway with no giant fish. Hmm. Oh well. Now we do have replicas of the fish, but they're kind of looking like they're swimming through Hawaiian Hall now. Exactly. Those are different diff different ones. Now, here's a really Okay. We're just we're talking about big weird animals that used to be on display in Bishop Museum and now you hold up this one. This is in what's now called Pacific Hall. And this picture that I'm holding is from nineteen seventy two. And it was the opening of an exhibit that was called Two by Two. And it was a bunch of dead animals, you might say, that, that had all been shot by a hunter who was a local guy who was a hunter. This was his collection of his trophy animals that he had shot all over the world. For some reason, we displayed them for years in what is now Pacific Hall. And this is Pacific Hall as it looked after it was renovated in the 1950s. And it looked totally different inside. Well, as you can see today, The building was built in 1894, and we took away all the 50s aspects of it, and now it looks completely different. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it has that amazing staircase, too. It has that amazing staircase, and we built that stairway. That was not original to the hall, but it looks absolutely perfect, like it fit there. Mm -hmm. Now, you're not going to recognize that. No. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, so here's a picture of what used to be the courtyard of Bishop Museum between 
Pacific Hall, um, the original Bishop Museum building, and what was called, what's now the Long Gallery, and Hawaiian Hall. And it used to be all open, mm -hmm. and then now put up your picture, and here's what it looks like today. Because when Hawaiian Hall Complex was renovated between 2007 and 2009, we enclosed part of what had been the courtyard, and we made it into the atrium, mm -hmm. which is now a big enclosed space. And we took out the windows in the picture that I'm holding and turned them into a doorway to go in and out of what's now the Long Gallery. They also added a really nice modern elevator. They added a nice that. modern elevator right next to those doors, and that's one of the big things that we had to do in our renovation. So these things don't look at all the same, but in fact, these are the same place in two different pictures. And some things don't look that different in some respects. Um, the Hawaiian Hall Complex. The picture that I'm holding is the Hawaiian Hall Complex, and it actually, although it looks like one big building, it's three separate buildings that were built over about a 10 or 12 year period. And they all have a very similar facade, so we think, oh, it's all one big building. And actually, it's three buildings. This picture was taken in 1955, and you can see there's a bus pulled up in front. That's because that's a city, regular city bus, and for a brief period, you could take a tour on the city buses and come to Bishop Museum. And here's what it looks like today, and uh, the building doesn't look very different. The building is, in fact, the same. We've got different trees, and uh, there are no buses in front of the building anymore because that's not a driveway anymore. That's nope. not. It is completely a walkway. It's completely a walkway. But in otherwise, the buildings are still the same, or at least from the exterior, they look the same. Mm -hmm. And the beloved Bishop Museum whale. The whale, which is hanging in Hawaiian Hall, has been there since Hawaiian Hall opened to the public in 1903. And if you hold up your picture, you will see the whale is still there today. And uh, all the other exhibits have changed mm -hmm. multiple times. And we've had a lot of renovations, we've had a lot of improvements, we've had lots of things change, but the whale is still there. The whale now has a couple of friends flying around it. I the whale like. has had a lot of different friends uh, hanging from the ceiling as well over the years. Different animals, different uh, fish, different artifacts like canoes. But he's always stayed there. Mm -hmm. And so there you go, folks. There it is. Then, now, then, and now, then, and now. And before we leave for the day, we've also got an upcoming exhibit just called Journeys, and Journeys is going to be opening next month in August of 2016. And here's a photograph to just let you know what's happening with Journeys. The, the Journeys exhibit, which is going to be in the Long Gallery, is about the Northwest Hawaiian Islands. Those are the islands that are up to the Northwest from the rest of our larger islands that we are, one of which we are located on right now. This picture is from 1958, and it is a picture of Midway Island. Midway, which just consists of two small sandy things that are sticking out of the ocean, which are not very big, actually got turned into a fairly substantial military uh, base for a long time um, during World War II, and then it kind of tapered off. And then in the late 50s, because of the Cold War and the fear that the Russians were going to attack, um, there were planes that were based on Midway that flew 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to sort of keep track of what was happening in the Pacific. And in order to support that air base, um, there were as many as 5,000 people living on one of those little sandy islands for a while. And these are, these are barracks for some of the military guys who were there, but there were a lot of civilians living there too, not only workers, but uh, military families. They built a whole infrastructure of, uh, there was a bowling alley, there were stores, there was a movie theater, wow. there was a church, and this whole big thing. Okay, so that's one of the things we'll be talking about in the Journeys exhibit, opening next month at Bishop Museum, about the Northwest Hawaiian Islands. And if you want to find out more information about our upcoming exhibits or what's going on in the museum right now, you can visit our website, bishopmuseum.org. It has all that information. It is. Uh, it is very, very complete, and uh, there is lots of stuff happening. We do want you to not only visit us online, but come visit us in person, too, because there's lots for you to see and do, and lots of fun stuff and interesting stuff, too. So, that's Throwback Thursday for this week. Okay. Thanks for joining us. See you again next week. Aloha. Aloha.